Welcome to day 10. And yesterday we spoke about a power greater than yourself. And so today I wanted to talk about the third step, which was making a decision to turn your will and your life over to God as you understand Him. Now, that again is a power greater than yourself. And that doesn't say you're giving up your life and putting someone else in complete control. It says you made a decision to. That doesn't mean you have to do it all at once. And that's something that I learned. Um, you know, that can simply again be, you know, taking on the group wisdom. Because, you know, the things that we've done to get us into our addiction and while we've lived a life of addiction, we have made some pretty appalling decisions, or at least I've made some pretty appalling decisions. And I'm, and I'm, I'm from meetings, most people who've been in addiction have made decisions that they really wouldn't have made if they were not an addict. So listening to other people in recovery and making a decision to allow their advice to sink in and for us to look at a different way of thinking is really what step three is about. And, you know, you can do that slowly. It doesn't have to be an immediate thing. It's just you've made a decision. You've come to that realization that what you're doing isn't working and giving up some of that control and passing, giving up your will. Because living on your will alone is what's got you or me into this situation to start with. So... I know step three for some people is a struggle and they see the word God in there and God of your understanding and they're like, well, I don't want to give up my whole life. And that's not to me what it's about. It's just accepting that there is better knowledge out there and that you can gain from the group consciousness, from a power greater than yourself um, or that true inner being that you lost contact with. And maybe tomorrow what we'll do is I'll talk a little bit more about higher power or inner power or inner strength because that's something that I talked about a lot in my recovery and it really helped me. So I'd love for some people to comment below this video and mention what they feel Step 3 is about and also how this video has maybe helped them understand it a bit more. Or if they disagree with what I've said and feel that maybe they could teach me something or there's some additional information that would help me. Because you know, although I'm four years sober, every single day is still a day in recovery and I'm only one day away from going right back to being an addict. So always, always in life, every day, if you're not learning, you might as well be dead. So you know, every day in your life, guys, you're going to have lessons that are there for you. And I think part of being an addict as well is that you have those lessons and you just repeat them again and again and again and again until eventually you decide you need to learn the lesson. And some people it takes a short time. Some people never learn that lesson their whole lives. So for you guys that are watching this, you're ready. You're already learning that lesson. So keep on this road, guys, and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.